The quarter started on a reasonably firm footing, but began to unravel as Donald Trump once again took aim at China, threatening additional tariffs. In the wake of this, we saw risk appetite dry up, further impacted by an inversion of the US yield curve, which cast a shadow across the global growth backdrop. After a slight reprieve heading into quarter end, an attack on a Saudi oil field led to a further spike in risk aversion. Negative sentiment weighed on risky assets, while demand for defensive assets increased. Domestic equity lost ground, with resource stocks being hampered by global growth worries, while weak local fundamentals impacted financials. Global equity tracked sideways in dollars, but advanced in rand terms, as the local currency sold off relative to safe havens. Fixed interest assets did well, as global bond yields compressed on the dim growth outlook. Global growth has stalled and could either continue to fade or stimulus efforts around the world will kickstart economic expansion. Our view is the global economy will stabilize in the coming months rather than slow down markedly thanks to easier monetary conditions. We are however monitoring for follow through in the tentative improvement in some leading economic indicators. GDP data showed that growth rebounded in the second quarter from a very low base. Underlying growth, however, remains unimpressive with year-on-year -year growth of under 1% expected this year. Growth forecasts continue to be trimmed, while confidence levels fell to a new post-crisis low. There was some relief this quarter, however, with the Reserve Bank lowering rates by a quarter of a percent. This quarter, we upgraded South African bonds and downgraded listed property. South African bonds remain an attractive asset class, and while the threat of a downgrade remains, we no longer view this as imminent. The property sector has continued to languish, given weak fundamentals and ongoing negative revisions. Overall, we still believe that a tilt in favour of growth assets remains appropriate, and we still prefer offshore equities prospects relative to local. For more information on our current thinking, read the latest edition of Talking Points, available on our website.